time, kids. We're kicking off digital camera days. Nothing is worse than taking a picture. You think it's the perfect shot of mom at the birthday, and you find that it's blurry or too dark, or the little mm -hmm. kids aren't looking at the camera, or your brother's lit his hair on fire again. Actually, that's a good one to talk. <laughs> one to hold for the book. We've convinced our next guest, who happens to be a world-class professional photographer, to reveal some of his secrets of taking better photos. Welcome, Jesse Kalish. Thank you, Patrick. Chambers. That's great to be here. Oh, it's good. We, we appreciate this. Again, we're basically, we want, we want to fix the problems everybody has taking photos. You, uh, Let's spent do your, it right now. Okay. You're on it. So you made, what's your number one peeve about the, the pictures people take or the thing is you see the mistakes over and over again? I do, you know, and I see people making them while they're taking pictures and mm -hmm. I want to go, go up to them in the street and say, hey, wait, if you just did, and then you think, what kind of jerk would I be if I did that? And in San time? Francisco, you get a chance to do that like every 45 <laughs> seconds, depending <laughs> on what part of town you're yeah, in. Yeah, it's absolutely true. So digital cameras, the biggest difference between digital cameras and still mm -hmm, cameras, probably mm -hmm. shutter delay? Shutter delay, my single biggest frustration. You have the, right. the basic three megapixel camera, uh, terrific camera. Mm -hmm. But when you press the shutter, it doesn't fire. Right. So especially even with the flash, it's even worse, but even without the flash. So sometimes you think you're taking the picture, you're not. You move the camera, suddenly it fires. And, what and you, you get that sort of like arm yeah. out of the side yeah, of the Yeah, the little picture. blur thing. So it, with these cameras, you got to be real careful. As you move up the line, certainly mm -hmm. when you get to the digital SLRs, uh, <laughs> and you're spending quite a lot of money, it Once fires you've spent right a few away. thousand dollars, it's, yeah. you get the full so sports I mean, photography. Exactly. Effect. So that's not for most people. So I think when you're shooting digitally, uh, clearly there are a lot of benefits, mm -hmm. but one of the drawbacks is the shutter delay. So one of the things, if you're, you know, if you're following a moving target, maybe you can mm -hmm. pan it and try to sort of like hit it somewhere in you there. You just never know when it's going to fire. And if you're photographing a scene, you've just uh -huh. got to be mentally prepared for the fact that what you're photographing, okay. you know, it, you're going to shoot it a, a moment after you think you're going to shoot it. Composing a shot in the digital camera, do you use the viewfinder? Do you use mm, the little LCD question, on the back? Good question. I always use the LCD on the back. Mm -hmm. Now, look, it's going to use up batteries, so carry batteries, carry your charger. But... Unlike the uh, point-and-shoot film cameras right. where they have the, the viewfinder fairly well lined up with the frame, the right. digital cameras really don't have that quite worked out <laughs> These yet. are not Leicas. I know. <laughs> what you see is not necessarily what you get when you're looking right. through the viewfinder. Again, it's different. The viewfinder says, I've got your shoulders. Uh -huh. The picture says, I've got uh -huh. your forehead. That uh -huh. would be bad. So you want to make sure, if, certainly if there are a lot of people you're trying to get in the mm -hmm. picture or there are certain icons you're trying to get that are toward the edge, you mm -hmm. want to absolutely look through the, through the screen. And again, if you're spending uh, you know, $2,000 on a digital SLR, you're looking through the right. lens, it's a totally different story. But, but with your basic camera, most people are using, you got to look at the screen. So watch the shutter delay. Use mm -hmm. the screen, mm -hmm. not the viewfinder. Mm -hmm. What about indoor photography? Should I turn on every light in the house? I do that, really? personally. Yeah, I turn on a lot of lights. Every camera is different. The sensitivity mm -hmm. level of light's different. So I think you have to use your camera with and without a flash indoors okay. and get a sense for when you're going to need a flash and when you're not. But if you're shooting people indoors, right. Always use a flash, see what it looks like. Try it without, but more than likely you're going to need a flash if you're shooting people. So if I'm about to have a herd of 19 four-year-olds for a birthday yeah, party, do yeah, I yeah. grab little Bobby or Timmy or the missus and basically have them sit down and sort of take a look at it's some things It's a good idea. Hand? It's a good idea. Beforehand, <laughs> you're using the same light. Just take a picture with and without the flash and okay. see what it looks like. Check it on the screen. Now, if you're not shooting people, if you're shooting a panoramic scene, uh -huh. then I would say to try turning the flash off. And I've got one picture we can show with this. This is happens. a great picture. Yeah. If you look at the top of this picture up here, this is a scene indoors where the mm -hmm. camera told the photographer, use the flash. But the photographer right. turned the flash off, and we turned it off, and look at what happens. We get this beautiful light up in here, and the colors and the ceiling start to come out. It's absolutely gorgeous. So if you're not trying to get faces, right. experiment with turning the flash off, even when it tells you to use it. Because if you had had the flash, you would have had a big reflection off the mirror. Mm -hmm. You would have had the pale background of these two people's heads. Yeah, I mean, those people are completely uninteresting, uh, even as it no, is. No disrespect if that was you. <laughs> no, I actually know out. them. Really, oh, they really my were my parents, actually. No, I'm kidding. Mom, Dad, this is you at the Bellagio. No Bellagio. idea who they are. But uh, I'm sure they're very uninteresting people, and certainly they would have been if the flash had been on your right. right. That's what we'd be looking at. You've got the beautiful shot of this. So basically, don't necessarily, the, the camera, it's telling you, it's not gospel, it's not chiseled It's not stone. gospel. Exactly right. Sometimes it's going to tell you to use the flash. Turn it off, see what you get. It could very be absolutely cool. gorgeous. You've got also one last classic photography trick, the finger snap. Ah, well, when you're shooting a group of people, uh, and especially like if you're shooting a bunch of kids, maybe mm -hmm. it's a little bit more difficult. When you're shooting adults, you know, take your camera in your hand. Mm -hmm. You want them all to look at you at the same time. Just snap your fingers above your head and then snap the picture. At the moment you're snapping, a pic you're snapping your fingers, people right. are going to look at your fingers, look at you. You're kind of silly. They're going to smile. Right. Take the picture. Now, yeah, of course, big goof. there might be a little shutter delay, <laughs> mm -hmm. so, you know, get as ready as you can and then start snapping. So basically, like, frame it up using your mm -hmm. LCD, not your viewfinder. Exactly. Get the finger poised, get right. the focus right, and then start, start snapping. Start snapping and 
Yep, you get everybody looking at you with a little bit of a, hey, what's he doing, kind of crazy smile, and you and got get him. the focus on yeah. it. Which is much better than having, like, people staring all over the place. Right, I find it much better. Oh, say cheese or say whatever people have people say these days. Got and, it. And people are so bored with that. We're going to come back. We're going to talk about your website. We're going to talk about oh, outdoor great. photography. Great. Yeah. Right now, though, we got to take a break.